Hi, I'm the friendly neighborhood Enderman, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to KDH GitHub using an SSH key pair. All of the commands that I use in this video are explained in detail in the description. To connect to KDH GitHub with an SSH key pair, there are three things that we need to do. Number one, create a public private key pair. Number two, add the public key to your KDH GitHub account. And number three, add the private key to an SSH agent on your computer. Let's start off with number one, creating the public private key pair. Type in SSH keygen and then dash TRSA and then dash B 4096 and finally dash capital C and your email address within single quotes. Also remember here that all of the commands that I used are listed and explained in the description, so just check there if you're confused about something. Now the program is asking me where I want to store the private key. The public key will be stored in the same location but with a different file extension. We'll get a look at that shortly. Anyway, since I have yet to generate any keys on this computer, I'm just going to go with the default location and press enter. Now it's asking me for a passphrase. If you provide a passphrase here, you will need to enter the same passphrase every time you use the key, for example, to pull, push, or clone a repo. If you don't want a passphrase, just press enter twice, like I do here. Now, the private and public keys have been generated and are located in the .ssh directory of my home directory. We can have a quick look at them and see that this is the private key, and this, the one with the .pub file extension, is the public key. That's all there is to step one, so let's move on to step two and add our public key to our KDH GitHub account. First of all, we need to copy the contents of the public key, and I will use cat for that. So I simply type in cat, and then the path to the public key. This will copy the public key to the terminal, so I can just copy it with a selection. And you want all of this output. Now that we have the public key on the clipboard, let's go to the KDH GitHub site. Here, you just log in with your usual KDH credentials. Now, just click the profile picture in the top right corner and go to Settings. Then go to SSH and GPG Keys and click the New SSH Key button. Here, you first have to give your key a title, and this title is just for you to keep track of your different keys, so it doesn't really have any specific meaning. Then, when you're done with that, just paste the contents of your public key into the key text box and then add the key. That's all there is to it, we're done here. For the final step, let's get back to the terminal and add the private key to the SSH agent. First of all, we need to make sure that the SSH agent is running. So type in eval and then dollar sign and within parentheses type in ssh-agent and then give it the option dash s. This should give you a message like this, saying that the PID, or process ID, is some number, and that means that it's up and running as a process. So now all we need to do is type in ssh-add, and then the path to the private key. And here you can see that it says identity added, and that means that I've successfully added my private key to the SSH agent. To check that we've done everything correctly, we can simply try to clone a repo, so I'm going to do that now. And that was not the correct link to the repo, so I'm just going to do that once more. And there we go. Now it seems like everything is in order, and I've got a working SSH connection to KDH GitHub. 